join my Discord server, the link is down in the description. Yo, what is going on everybody, my name is Sage, and welcome to this video everybody. Now, in this video, I'm going to be doing sort of a part 2 or a sequel to a video that I did a long time ago about the chainsaw, which you guys can see here in my hand. And so what I did was, I took it from the rare category all the way to the mythical tier just for the memes. I wanted to see how good it would be, if it would function well, and honestly, that one wasn't too bad because to this day, I do use the chainsaw, it is my favorite melee in the game because it was the first melee weapon that I ever bought in Pixel Gun 3D when I was really little, so um, I, I definitely liked the weapon a lot, which is why it was the first weapon that I decided to go full out on and just make, uh, make it into a mythical. And so, in that last video, guys, I jokingly asked you, what would the next gun you guys want me to make a uh, mythical be? And I jokingly said, imagine if I did something like the balloon cannon, because, well... The balloon cannon isn't really that great of a gun, and so I thought a lot of you guys would think I was joking, but uh, you guys thought I was serious, so in this video, guys, I made the balloon cannon mythical. Stick around to see how it is. Boy, it's a man, young Josh A coming through with the plan. I wrote a couple songs and I gained a couple lives. Moved to Orlando, now I'm living fine. Yeah, I got a brain for a dentist and I train like a menace, but the passion is music. I've been in it for a minute, goddamn. So guys, unfortunately, I don't have the mic audio from when I actually bought the balloon cannon, but I do have the video and the game audio from when I bought it. So it's just a quick seven second clip here. I went ahead and I recorded myself buying it and I was reacting to it and everything, but then I noticed that my mic audio was on. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clip and then talk about the stats. So guys, immediately looking at the stats of this weapon here, it does have a fire rate of 74, a capacity of 6, and a mobility of 50, so a pretty slow mobility there. Um, it does have the average efficiency of a level 65 mythical weapon, and then um, it is for sandbox, it does say there. It has single shots and it is area damage, although the area damage does seem to be pretty weak with this weapon. Um, I'm just going to say this right now, it's very, very hard to use this gun. So I went ahead and I grabbed somebody who had completely maxed out armor and I brought them into a game so I could try and test out the, the damage of this gun. And so it does two shot to the body and it does two shot to the head. Reason being as this is an area damage gun. Whenever you shoot something with it, it does shoot a bunch of balloons everywhere, which I guess do like damage, but I, I don't really know how this gun works. Honestly, I don't play sandbox. I, I don't use this gun often. So I, for me, like not even ever using this gun, I, I can't believe I spent 2000 gems on it to get it to mythical. Um, it does, I guess, work with 3 cat spam if you're used to using something like, um, I don't know, like the Poseidon's Trident. This is pretty similar in travel speed to the Poseidon's Trident, and it does do similar damage to it, and it also has area damage. So, like, imagine this thing on Mythical being sort of the same as the Poseidon's Trident, but as, like, a, I guess as in the primary category. It doesn't have delay, so I guess that's good, but I, I definitely wouldn't recommend it for 3 cat. So, the thing with weapons like this, guys, it's always going to revolve around whether or not the travel time really affects how the gun is used, and with this weapon, it is really, really bad with the travel time. Um, obviously, it shouldn't really matter because this gun is meant for sandbox, it's not meant to be a gun that's used as mythical for 3-cat spam, and so, like, for some reason, I thought it would be... Uh, I guess worth a try to give it a shot for 3 cat spam, so I took it into a deathmatch like you guys can see here, and so I was going off on a few people, you know, trying to get some kills, but the travel time was just so bad with the weapon that it made me want to just stop playing completely, and nowadays everybody just spams this uh, for the Christmas ultimatum and overpowered cluster weapons like that, so it's really impossible to try and do anything besides, I guess, rocket jump and heavy spam, but um, especially using a weapon like this, which I have never used. I'm sure there are people who are really good with a weapon like this, but I am, I'm just not that great with it, you guys. I'm not very good with travel time weapons at all. I'm not good with predicting shots, except for the poison darts. Um, I, I'm really used to the poison darts, but the travel time with that is so slow, but there is a little bit of a delay before you can shoot it on every single shot. So I'm, I'm kind of used to that, but with this, the travel time is just unbelievably slow. It's even slower than the egg colorant, which was part of the battle pass for this season and so um unfortunately guys this since this thing has such slow travel time 
I would not recommend even buying it if you don't have it already. If you only buy it if you want to impress your your girlfriend on Sandbox or something like that. But uh, I I don't know why I made this thing mythical, you guys. It was uh, definitely a huge mistake. Um, and I've been making a lot of weird purchases in Pixel Gun 3D recently. I've been buying weird guns that I'll never use. Like right now, I have almost the entire armory and and guns. And I am a free to play player, guys. I haven't spent too much money on this game. I've only bought the battle pass, and I've also spent ten dollars once to get uh, the proton freezer to mythical but other than that even this weapon here and the chainsaw and every other thing that I've ever bought in this game guys is uh, all because I grinded a lot so I am a free to play player but um, I bought a lot of just weapons that I'll never ever use and I don't know why and then this was kind of one of them I bought it even though I never play sandbox just because it was part of the sandbox set I guess and so just to, for me to think about like I don't even know why I got this thing to mythical I will never use it and again it's just for the meme it's just for the flex rights because guys this weapon exactly cost 1,900 gems but I will call it 2,000 because it's you know it's close to 2,000 but it, it does cost 1,200 gems because it's 150 gems to get it from rare to epic and then it is 550 gems to get it from epic to legendary and then after that it is 1,200 to get it from legendary to mythical which is what I went ahead and did with this guys so um, I think that this is probably one of the weirdest things that you can do with gems um there's nothing i can really do with my gems i have my loadout fully maxed out already you know so like getting gems for me at this point is just pointless unless i want to get any of the event weapons which honestly I, I really don't most of the time the event weapons are super overpowered and i'm not really into the play style where you just use really really op weapons i've never been one for that so um, I wouldn't really want to save my gems to get event weapons, honestly. That, that's just not really how I play. And again, all of my guns in my loadout are mythicalized already. I've already somehow, like, spent so much time playing the game that I got enough gems to get them all to mythical. And so, I thought, like, well, what could I do with my gems? And that's when I started off with the chainsaw. I made the chainsaw mythical, and now I've gone ahead and I've made the balloon gun mythical as well. And of course, my other weapons there are mythical too, like my thunderer. Uh, the poison darts, the laser crossbow, the proton freezer, um, I've made the succubus, or the suck- I don't know how that gun's pronounced, everybody tells me I pronounce it wrong all the time, I think it's pronounced succubus or something like that, but it's- some people say it's succubus, anyway, um, I've made that mythical, I've made so many guns mythical at this point, from either rare to myth- uh, rare to mythical, or epic to mythical, or legendary to mythical, that I- I- I, I kinda lost count, um, the first, like, really expensive purchase that I made for upgrading a gun to mythical was the, uh, the poison darts, which was- 1750 gems i think because um i upgraded it from epic because it starts off at epic and i got it all the way to mythical but yeah guys getting all of these guns to mythical just sort of gives me a sense of i guess accomplishment because you know grinding so many games getting so many wins isn't really the easiest thing to do in the world you need a lot of time and I have a lot of dual wins. I have 5,300 dual wins. It is my favorite game mode to play. I love going up one on one against somebody else. It's really, really fun. It gives me, uh, it gives me a wide variety of different play styles that I have to get used to. And now that rocket jumping is gone, pretty much, uh, there's like nobody that does rocket jumping anymore because of the recent rocket jump nerf. So duels have become a lot more fun and easy to play for me. So that's kind of good, you know, grinding a lot of duels, getting a lot of chests, getting a lot of gems and stuff. Uh, it, it isn't too bad, honestly. You know, if I play a lot of duels and I bet a lot of chests eventually when I open up all those chests I'll get enough gems to get even another weapon that I will never use to upgrade to mythical and uh, speaking of by the way let me know down in the comments what, other, what next weapon you guys would like to see me get to mythical because um oh well, except for any weapon that was previously common and that is now rare because all of my guns that uh were common are still common for me and uh, a lot of people are saying like the brutal headhunter and weapons like that are rare now so that you can upgrade them to mythical but Mine aren't, guys. So, um, yeah, I, I upgraded this gun to Mythical for some reason because a lot of people really wanted me to. I, I, I really don't know why I did this, guys. But, um, honestly, it might have one thing above the, uh, the uh, ultimatum. And that is the ultimatum does have an input delay and an output delay for a lot of guns. So... In my opinion, I would say that this gun might function better for 3-cat spam if you can get used to the travel time that this gun has. Um, it does do a lot of damage and the damage doesn't drop off at a range, so I don't know, maybe people who can get used to the travel time can actually use this gun legitimately. Um, the only thing is the travel time is so slow that people can literally outrun the bullets, so you would have to be really, really close to somebody if you actually wanted to try and use this against someone, so I don't know guys, I feel like uh, the future is going to be kind of weird with this gun, not going to lie.
Anyway guys, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel because I do post Pixagun 3D content on the regular guys. And tomorrow, I do have something really special starting. Um, I will be doing a, a 48 hour stream starting tomorrow and I will have a whole video about that coming out later today so I can give you guys all the details and everything I plan on doing. So be sure to look out for that video. It will be up on my channel later today. Anyway, be sure to join my Discord server and thank you guys all so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys all later.